everyone! Today I'm doing my April Favorites video and I'm so excited to do this video because I did not do a March Favorites and that was because I didn't really have any March Favorites. I was kind of just using the same things I've been using all of the other months and I figured it'd be really boring and a waste of time to do that video because you guys wouldn't have seen anything new and literally be the same thing as February. But now I have discovered some new products that I've been loving in the month of April. The month of April was a pretty good month for me because I had my spring break, which is always fun. It was my birthday. Um, yeah, it was just a pretty good month for me. Um, and so I'm just going to show you all of my favorites. My first favorite has been featured in many, many favorites videos before, except not in the winter, really. It's my Hula bronzer. But now, since I did get a bit more tan during spring break and sunburn, if you guys saw my Ask Nally video, I was like lobster, I know. Um, this is what it looks like though. It's just like a matte brown color. I'm not sure if you can pick it up that well, but um, I love it. I wear this all over my face. Sometimes I just skip foundation because I don't really need it because my, my skin's not acting up or anything. So I'll skip foundation, but I will apply my bronzer because my face is a lot paler than my body because I put sunscreen all over my face every single day, but like obviously I got sunburn and I didn't put sunscreen on my body because I was stupid like that, which I don't recommend. I recommend you wear sunscreen every day. Um, but yeah, Hula bronzer, best bronzer ever, and this is the same bronzer that has been featured in all my favorites videos, like, the same exact one, I haven't purchased a new one, and I wear it every single day, so, you guys can tell that it is long-lasting and amazing. My next product is this Maybelline blush, it's in the color, um, I don't know what color this is in, Pink Peony, there, it's in the color Pink Peony, and this is what it looks like, and it's a matte, kind of, like, light light pink slash neutral like skin color type i don't know if you guys can see that um it's not that like it's really pretty but i like wearing it under a blush i think it just makes it kind of the blush be a bit more like nicer i guess i don't know how what it does or how i would describe it but i just love wearing it under my blush i do wear this blush sometimes alone but that's really when i'm trying to go for the no makeup look this is great if you're trying to go for no makeup because it's not that strong and it's not that pigmented but under a regular blush it looks really good and it kind of works like a base for that blush i guess that's a better word for it my next thing that i have been loving is my naked two palette yes i caved in and i got it I convinced my mom to let me get it. Um, that's what it looks like, and I like it because it came with a lip gloss that's actually a really pretty lip gloss, and then it came with this brush, and for it, one side it's a flat shader brush, and the other side it's a crease brush, and I normally just use this um, brush when I'm applying the Naked palette because I feel like it's just easier because I only have to bring one thing, you know, especially at sleepovers, I'll just bring this, and that's pretty much it. Um, and these are the colors. So it has kind of the similar colors to the Naked One palette, but it's still a bit different because um, if you look at them side by side, it's kind of different. But I really, really like it. I have been using all of these colors so much, and I feel like you can use every single one of these colors on a daily basis except this black one. This black one I definitely don't recommend using on a daily basis, but every single other one of these colors, if you apply it with a light hand, you can use it every day. My next favorite are two mascaras. This one I'm so excited for. It's the Hypnos Doll Lashes Mascara. This is what the case looks like. It is the greatest mascara I've ever tried in my life. Every single other mascara does not stay put the whole day or it doesn't stay the curl the whole day. This one, it looks the same when I get home from school. It looks the same at the end of the night. I love it so much. I will never buy another mascara. I don't, I mean, I know it's pricey, but it is so worth it, you guys. It's the best mascara ever and it's Lancome Doll Hypnos Doll Lashes. It is so good. Like, I am obsessed with this mascara. And I um, put that one on first. And then for my second coat, I put Lash Blast Volume, which I like this as a second coat. It just gives me that extra, like, volume. And it these two together work amazing. My next favorite is this concealer. It's the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, this is what it looks like. And obviously, I don't have wrinkles, so I'm not using it for wrinkles. It's just a really good concealer for under eye circles and kind of... I kind of do it on my dark spots too. Um, I don't think I would recommend this if you have heavy under eye circles. I barely have any under eye circles. Like, I have a little bit because I never get any sleep. Like, last two weeks ago, the earliest I went to bed was 1.30 and that was a school week. Like, I don't sleep. So, um, <laughs> this is my favorite concealer at the moment. I don't have that bad of under eye circles, but I'm starting to get a little bit more. And this has been working really well and this literally fits the exact skin tone of mine. Like. It's exact. I've never found a better match. I'm in the color 30 medium. Um, it is awesome. 
My next favorite is this MAC um, Fluid line, and it's in the color Dark Diversion, and I've been really loving purple lately. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's this deep purple. I don't know if you can tell because of the sunlight, but it's just a really deep purple, and I have been loving it, and it's kind of like a purple brown. I think it just looks really pretty on the lids or on the upper lash line. And my last makeup product is this Rosebud Minted Rose um, Lip Balm. Or actually, I don't know if it's Rosebud. It's Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. This is what it looks like. And I've never had a better chapstick before. It works so well. I was in New York for spring break and my lips were really chapped. And so I went to Sephora and I was like, what's your best um, lip balm? And at first they pointed me to sugar or fresh sugar, I think that's what it's called. And it's this lip balm. And I was like, okay, I'll try it out. Then I looked at the price and it was $22 for a lip balm. Like I'm not going to pay $22 for a lip balm. Sorry, Sephora. So I decided to pick this one up instead. Because, and I think it was like $9, maybe it was 6 And I have, I actually picked up a sample because it was my birthday. So they sent me a, um, like a free sugar free duo of the sugar fresh sugar lip balm things so i got like two mini ones for my birthday and i mean the sugar one look works well but it's definitely nowhere near as good as this one so i think either the sephora person just was biased towards that which is totally fine because i'm biased towards so many different brands but um or she just wanted to make me pay 22 dollars or something i don't know but i was not gonna pay 22 bucks for a lip balm but um yeah so i got this and it is amazing and i wear it all the time and then i have two hair products left for you guys and that's it for my favorite so it's not that long of a video i don't think um the first hair favorite of mine is this bedhead after party smoothing cream for silky shiny looking hair this literally makes your hair completely different in a good way like anything wrong with your hair even if it's flyaways even if it's just like looking bad like just a random bad hair day just put this on your hair and it will make it look good like i love this and i've had this again also for a really long time it's just been stuffed under my drawer I'm like i don't know when to use it you know so i finally used it when i had my hair like wavy and it worked so well i use it when i straighten my hair like i straightened my hair today so well i just use it all the time and it's just so good and it's not greasy at all and it smells like the smell of this i've never smelled anything better it smells like um curls rock and i have used curls rock before and that is also really good bedhead is probably my favorite um hair hair brand out there like out of everybody i love all of the bedhead products but um yeah so this is amazing if in case you guys are looking for any like breakthroughs for the hair or something it works really well and then this joyco split end mender is a miracle baby too i love it so much literally guys i don't really have that many split ends and i swear it is i owe it all to this thing i put this in every single time i shower so after i shower i put this in all over my ends of my hair so i just take it and i focus more on the ends of my hair but i also kind of go along right here and i don't go above my ear because then my hair will just be greasy but i go kind of down here too just because i do have layers so that like i do i may get split ends right here too so then i add like the rest of it right there but i do focus more on the ends and it is amazing i don't get split ends anymore and i straighten my hair i curl my hair like it's just so well so this is not a heat protectant don't get mistaken for that it is a split end mender so it's gonna mend your split ends in case you guys didn't know what that means but yeah it is awesome <laughs> And that was it for my favorites video. So thank you guys for watching this. And let me know what your guys' April favorites were. And if this April 2012 was a good one. And I do have exciting news for you guys. I am getting my license in two weeks. Oh, the best day of my life will be in two weeks. Like, I've never been more excited in my entire life for my license, guys. And if any of you guys have taken a driving test, most of you guys probably have if you have your license. I'm assuming, yeah, you have. You had to take the driving test. If you guys do, please give me any tips below. And I'm a pretty good driver, so I'm not really worried about failing, but I may, like, I just need all of the tips I can get. So please, please, please leave me your tips in the bottom comments below because I will read all of them and appreciate all of them. And if you guys have any, like, um, driving stories, you guys can tell me those because I always think those are funny, and I don't really think I'll get that freaked out about them because I've talked to so many people at my school that have gone to the DMVs, like, near me. Um, so... I kind of know what to expect, but please give me any tips because the more tips I get, the more or the better I'll do. So thank you guys for that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.